So I'm giving myself a little bit of a haircut this weekend, just a trim. But in order to do that, I have to straighten my hair. And I thought, brilliant idea, that while my hair is straight, I would attempt to do some hairstyles that are just perfect for, you know, if you don't want to set your hair, if you're, I don't know, if your set has, you know, fallen over the week and you don't have a lot of curls left. Um, so I'm sure you know, I do not have straight hair. I have naturally curly hair. It is very, very curly and I always set it anyway. So I never wear my hair straight. So this will be kind of a new thing for me. Um, but I thought I would try it out and see how it goes. All right, so let's take a look at this straight hair of mine. It's uh, definitely a different look for me. I'm not used to having straight hair, even though, you know, I have to straighten it every time I cut it. Um, it's still never, I never get used to it, so. Here is my hair straightened. I just did a little, like I dampened it a little bit and then I um, just did a quick blow dry and a little bit of a flat iron just to get some of the frizz out. But also here you can kind of see my, how my hair is cut normally. I haven't cut it yet, I haven't trimmed it yet. It still needs a trim, but this is kind of, you can see my, my horseshoe cut here. I do still have a little bit of a curl on the bottom, but this is my haircut. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on these hairstyles.
last style is actually a very simple style. You can just do a, a simple bun off to the side, but I just learned how to do this um, kind of interesting way of, of doing a chignon. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, uh, but you can just do a, you know, a bun if you wanted, just a regular bun, or um, even braid it or twist it and kind of wrap it up. But I'm gonna show you how to do this chignon. <music> I'm gonna attempt to talk you through how to do this. Um, I did slow it down for you, so let's let's try this. So the first thing you're going to do is actually wrap your hair tie around your wrist. I'm starting, I'm right-handed, so I'm doing this on my left wrist. And I'm brushing all of my hair off to the side. You can do this directly in the back if you wish. So you're gonna start with taking your hair to turning your hand upside down and taking all of your hair and kind of pushing that tail up. Then you're gonna wrap the hair tie around. You're gonna pull it over your hand and kind of wrap it into almost like you're taking a, a ponytail. You're making a ponytail. Twist it once, then you're going to flip that hair, that tail end of hair back over and your thumb, you can see my thumb right here is actually inside that little, you know, hole that you made. And then I'm gonna struggle a little bit with the hair tie, but you're gonna tuck all of the hair as much as you can underneath and then kind of get your, your thumb loose out of that hole. And then you're going to bring that hair tie around your hand and ultimately around the entire bun of hair and it's going to secure all of that hair from underneath around and then you just kind of spread out the hair a little bit you can pin the hair back to the sides um, off to the sides and more to your hair but that's pretty much it the front portion you can do many different things I'm actually going to show you two different ways to style this this first way is just kind of creating a little bit of a swoop and uh, and then pinning that into a pin curl off to the side this second version I'm just separating my hair out into three sections and making small pin curls that kind of curl down and towards my face uh, I'm going to wear a beret with this style and I find that it's uh, having a little bit more hair uh, kind of covering and onto the forehead just gives it a much better uh, look with a beret
All right, well, we did it. <laughs> I did a few styles that you can do on completely straight hair. You don't have it have to set it. And there's actually several options. Um, you know, there's, you can always do a Gibson roll, um, a chignon, a bun. Milkmaid braids are a really great option. My hair's not long enough. And to be honest, I'm not great at braiding my hair. So, uh, but Milkmaid braids are a really great option too. Um, there's, there's definitely a lot of styles that you can do with completely straight hair, whether you know you don't want to set your hair or you just want something really quick and easy without having to go through the process of setting. So you can still have vintage hair, um, just play around with it and see what styles you like. But let me know in the comments which one of these was your favorite. And um, I don't know, maybe I'll figure out a few more styles that I can do and the next time I need to cut my hair and straighten it I'll do another video. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you again soon. Bye!